Long Bu tells me to disseminate the religion. Long Bu Kao told me, See here, Tun, from now on, focus on disseminating the Buddhist religion. Train monks, novices, samanera, and lay people to understand the correct way to practice pati pati, because it is extremely difficult to find someone who is capable of teaching the correct way to practice. Long Bu's good intentions were likely due to his desire to find someone to help lighten or share his load. I asked Long Bu for permission to express my perspective. Long Bu, in regards to the methods, ubaya, of training and teaching the Dhamma to monks, samaneras, and lay people, I am wholly ready. Ever since that day in which I understood the universal truth, such a Dhamma, at Palan, all of the other Dhamma for teaching people also arose simultaneously. I reasoned with Lung Pu. At this time, I am still a young monk. The faith that monks, samaneras, and lay people have in me is practically non-existent. Even if I were to explain the truth about practice, complete with correct principles of cause and effect, they will reproach me for speaking of Dhamma beyond my own ability. As of now, I have only been ordained for nine reigns, Vasa. Though the listeners may feel confident about the high quality of Acharya Tun's Dhamma teaching, the other thing they will feel confident about is my being a young monk who may one day disrobe. Therefore, I am not suited to train monks, samaneras, and lay people in the Dhamma right now. The reason is that I am one who knows myself, Atanyu. I realize that I am a young man. This era is unlike the Buddha's era. Back then, the Buddha would guarantee that a monk or samanera was firmly established in the Dhamma. It is not that way in this era. People only want to hear the Dhamma from older monks of many vasas. Their faith will hinge on the individual. Only if the individual is an old monk of many vasas will the Dhamma he teaches be of benefit to them. If they do not believe in the individual, the Dhamma he teaches will be worthless. With permission, Lung Bu, please wait for a while. Once the timing is appropriate, I will disseminate the Dhamma to the fullest. During this period, if I were to give a profound Dhamma teaching, they would accuse me of speaking the Dhamma beyond my ability. In reality, my ability is already perfectly primed and ready, but it is my age that is not ready. Thus, let it be in accordance with Galan Yu, or proper time. Whenever Atan Yu, Galan Yu, and Parisan Yu are ready, that is when I will reveal myself. After hearing my reasoning, Luang Bu nodded and said, In that case, don't remain in seclusion for long. There may be monks, samaneras, or lay people whose perfections of character, barami, are primed and ready. Allow them the chance to hear the true Dhamma. They might be able to attain a level of enlightenment in this lifetime. Don't let their lives be for naught. Help teach them and train them. Don't let their opportunities go to waste. These days, those who are truly determined to practice still exist. Allow them to also understand the correct way of practice, because one day, they might become an asset in Buddhism's future. There were many Dhamma topics that Long Bu and I discussed, but I have only selected a few of them to write about here. From then on, I adopted a Neanderthal's character while living with others. I assumed the persona of one who hadn't attained any Dhamma whatsoever. At Wat Tam Kong Pain, or any other temple, that persona enabled me to get along with everyone perfectly well. This was because of a Dhamma topic that I practiced until it became embedded in my mindset. That is, the seven virtues of the righteous, Sapuri Sadama. 1. Tamanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows the cause. 2. Atanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows the consequence. 3. Atanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows oneself. 4. Matanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows moderation. 5. Galanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows proper time. 6. Parisanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows the assembly. And 7. Pukalanyutta. Train oneself to be one who knows the individual. I regarded these seven Dhamma methods, Ubaya, as an important personal theme. When you live in a society at large, you must understand how to comport yourself in that society. Each individual's nature is different. You must adapt yourself in order to survive in that society. When applying these themes, it isn't necessary to practice them in the order delineated in manuals. 
Just understand the situation you are facing. Select the appropriate Dhamma topic that solves and eliminates that problem, and be sure to solve it in time. Do not leave that problem to fester, and do not allow it to spread far and wide. It must be solved promptly.